Welcome to the biggest show in the world, Sports Betters TV. The biggest show in the world is back, and I hope my computer is going to do it for me today. What's going on, people? How's everybody doing out there? I apologize. We had a bunch of people listening already, and I hope you're back on the air, man, with us. We are Sports Betters TV. You got my boy, The Dream. What's up, kid? <laughs> I don't know, Daddy. It sound like the computer was out to lunch. Are computer you? ain't feeling us being off for a day, <laughs> kid. It's got to go seven days a week. You, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. No doubt. I know. We're we're back. We're here. We're live. And we're we're ready to get things popping. The, the Almost computer just... said just because it was Valentine's Day, you don't know nobody. <laughs> <laughs> my other girl here, the computer's all off. Uh, Upset at me you know right now, you know what I'm saying? This computer's name Christine, by the way, y'all. It's heated with it right now. Oh, I know, I know, I know. She's like, where are you? <laughs> Had her. Oh, man. Oh, so what's up, kid? What's up? Nothing, so, man. I'm doing good, man. I enjoyed the weekend. I had a great weekend. Hung out with the fam, you know, the wife and the kids. We did the Valentine's Day thing, man. Made sure I got, you know, the little flowers, the little candy. I hope y'all did the same. I put out, you know, a tweet reminding and y'all to handle your business so i hope you did that yes, i know sir. you did your thing i did my thing oh yeah 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 i paid dearly for my thing too oh god yo you know what man let me tell you something you want when, when you do all these you know these things like new year's eve valentine's day you know stuff like that they play you they play you big time i put a little i don't know if you saw it i put a little picture out of my my first course uh yep. it was it was a little spoonful of tuna dude I'm like, yo, what the, what? I'm like, what the hell is this, man? Damn. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, but the brunch, let me tell you something, guys. The best brunch in the world is up here in Connecticut at this spot. Oh, my God, dude. I couldn't even move after I left that place yesterday, kid. It was off the chain. Off the chain, so it made up for it, man. And I'm, uh, hey, you know what? I'm a big breakfast and brunch guy and stuff like that. So if you guys know any spots in Vegas for that, I'll be all ears. Let hey, me tell you, guys, you about that. By the way, you know, I know you guys. You probably aren't really clear on what type of weather we're getting, um, because you know some of the reports are you. We're not get, what Fred Courier is getting is the blizzard stuff. We're not quite getting hit with that. Um, we did get hit, you know, with the storm about a week, two weeks ago. We got hit with the first substantial snow of the season, and then we've we've had a couple little small tidbits, at, you know, a little shortly thereafter. Um, right now, we are into really, really cold weather. Uh, it's like you know, it's been minus, you know, minus minus zero and under, and that's what we're dealing with right now. But as far as snow's concerned, we we haven't really gotten hammered with it, even though it's snowed here. It's been you know of the light fluffy sort which is not really too much of a hindrance so uh we we're not doing that that bad no nah, we're, we're we're lucky so far yeah we've so, been lucky yeah <laughs> we had that one that one big one here where uh you know we had to uh get to the office with uh <laughs> all that snow but you know what it right. happened and we got here and now uh, that's it brother that's hey, it hey, for us for us in connecticut honestly the issue in connecticut in the, in the northeast right now is that generally we've gotten our snow by now we're usually pretty much done with it at this point and this year it's the fact that it's coming this late has most of the people like irate up in arms and up to the east coast because they're like they can't believe it we, everybody thought we were through the bet the worst part and now it seems to be coming at the tail end yeah so but uh, that that that, that, that doesn't mean we're feeling it here by any means we want to come back <laughs> we want to come down south <laughs> we want to come down south to go to the West Coast, something like that. You know what I'm saying? So if anybody's listening to our show and you got some connections and stuff like that, could could help us uh, get you know bring our show out to the West Coast or uh, down south, please, you know, let us know. Because <laughs> I ain't feeling Coast. this. <laughs> Oh Put man! It somewhere, anywhere. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. All right, Dream. So, what do you got? What do you got popping, kid? Uh, hey, well, as we far got, as the like scores. Like I said, we had the NCAA. The, excuse me, NCAA. We had the All Star Game, the NBA All Star Game. Russell Westbrook went crazy, scored forty one points because he's a gun. Uh, it was one sixty three to one fifty eight. Nah, I don't. I ain't mad at Russell. That, that, that was that was a perfect time for him to run and gun is in the all-star game i'm happy for him uh and the college basketball side we had wisconsin 68 to 49 over illinois uh. we had northern iowa 68 to 57 over missouri state we had arizona 86 to 59 over washington state and cal lost to utah 76 to 61 that utah team is no joke 
Yes, though, the Utah I know. team the Utah, is no I, joke. I'm telling right, you. Absolutely so, right. I mean, you know, what I was doing is, uh, you know, I've been looking at a few teams, guys, all right, because you know daddy gets involved in his futures, and you know I love my futures and all that, okay? Especially especially how the way the game-to-game the game, the game stuff's been going for me, man. It's been kind of pissing me off a little bit. You know, when I, when I, when I, I I've been really bad with straight plays. This year, you know, this college basketball season. I mean, I lost by a half a point with uh, the Ohio State University uh, the other day. And then uh, Illinois, I had them uh, plus 14 yesterday. And they were actually winning the game for, a, you know, back and forth a lot in the first half. And then they let uh, Wisconsin go on a 17-2 to run and let my man Kaminsky, you know, dance around the three-point line the whole game. You know, around the foul line. Yo, Kaminsky just won't go into the paint. He just doesn't want to go anywhere near the basket. And he's like allergic you, to the paint. He's, aller- <laughs> he's allergic. He's allergic to the flow post paint game. He, I mean, listen. Not to take anything away from him, he's he, he's great in this level. But Dream, please explain to the audience what's going to happen to him in the NBA. <laughs> Y'all know what's going to happen to him. Uh, no, he, he'd be able to dance around. He's like he's like a seven foot guard. Y'all you know, know what I'm saying? Gonna happen to him. <laughs> and, and then, yo, yo, you know the the bet. The worst part about it is the Illini wants to put some like five nine guard on him yesterday. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this, dude? It was like a joke. No wonder why he's he's you know passing the ball over the cat or you know just just finger tipping it into the basket. I mean, that was really really embarrassing of a matchup that that coach put on Kaminsky. That was that was embarrassing. Hey man. They did what they did. They tried to do a little something. I give them a little props for that. I don't know. I'm scratching my head a little bit with that coaching decision as far as the player that they put on him. Um, I guess he wanted to keep his big man down in the paint. I don't know. Sometimes these coaches can outthink themselves or overthink themselves. But um, I just I just think that Kaminsky going to, you know, on the, on the next level, um, I don't know how much success he's going to have. Hey, who knows? I wish him well. I mean, obviously, you wish any kid the of best. Of course. Yeah, yeah, goes yeah. On definitely. To be an incredible player but I just you know very few guys can do what he's doing in, in the NBA at his size I mean yeah you do have Dirk Nowitzki but I don't think Kaminsky is a Dirk Nowitzki no no <laughs> <laughs> not at all not at all man so, so uh we'll hey. see what happens hey you know what for, for right now he's doing well and for right now that Wisconsin team is a problem they're making their noise they're doing their ones but they are so unathletic though yeah yeah, I know that 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 other kid there was stealing the ball quite a bit. Uh, I forgot his name there, but um, you know what? They got I think one kid who I like. I want to say it's Decker. Decker, maybe, yeah, yeah, name. yeah, Decker. Yep, yep. I, yeah, that's he's the, one the was... only kid who I like him. He looks like maybe he's been out a little bit, like you know, in the projects playing hoop a little bit. Yeah. Everybody else <laughs> looks like they've been playing strictly suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Like he was maybe in the hood playing a little ball, but um, he's gonna be, you know, he he gives them a nice little flavor, nice little change of pace, and it'll be a big big help, you know, as they get into these into the tournament. But the rest of the guys, man, they gotta, oh, I don't know. It, it, hopefully, hopefully the shots are falling. If the shots are falling, it Dude, won't matter for them. If, but if they're not, they're gonna struggle. If the shots aren't falling, I mean, if they they do play a pretty good defensive game, I gotta give them that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they do. But but they're man to man though. Against faster teams and more athletic, because remember we saw that against Michigan. Michigan was eating them alive with the man-to-man defense. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. But you know, you know what, man? I'm gonna get. I, I think. I really think, Dream. I think I'm gonna invest in your boy in the, in the Dukies. I have to, dude. They're they're like nine to one right now. You know what I'm saying? So Duke, I mean, man, I love Duke. You know, but. I, we gotta just we gotta talk about it some more. All right, all right. You know what? You've been watching them a little bit more than me, but I yeah. really, really like. I love the way Coach K is doing his adjustments and you know making that whole thing happen over oh, there. You know definitely what I'm saying? come to the table as coach, well coach as better probably at least the top three coach team in, in the league for sure. Um, the thing that do kills you with is that uh, every now and then their guard play gets suspect. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. Um, and and then and then and then they want to force it into the big guy when they get in, when they get a little in trouble and a couple of decision making skills by them, you know, let, let you scratch your head sometimes. But uh, I mean, they are a stand quality quality team quality program. But dude, just telling you, man, nobody's beating Kentucky. 
<laughs> well, I'm looking for a dude. You, you just never know, though, dude. It's one Nobody game and you're done. Kentucky, it's not happening. And if they if they don't get beat regular season, they are not getting beat in the tournament. <laughs> okay, put your money on it, kids. Plus two twenty right now for them to go undefeated. Yeah, I know. I need to go ahead and jump on it before it's too late. Plus two twenty, play it. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna just throw a little C note on it. <laughs> yeah, right. You might as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know? I'm gonna just okay. throw a little C note on it just for uh for laughs and giggles um uh, on that. So where else you want to go? That- Kentucky has any games like for the regular season that they're gonna lose? No. After I'm I looking agree. at it, but. But you know you get you get something on uh you, you know you get you get you get someone that comes in you know one of these uh, stomach ache teams like a uh, who could I put in there? Who I don't know I? because I, I don't because you can't tell me nobody outside of the top twenty five. No, no, not, no, 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 no. They're not tall enough. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not okay. saying. I'm not saying Yale's gonna beat Kentucky. I'm, I'm okay. saying. <laughs> we, we believe though. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> we've got. I mean, you got. You know, you got these. Uh, you, you got the Dukies. You got. I'm never gonna say Virginia. How about Virginia squeaking by? You know, get, giving 17 and a half points and win by one. That's the team that's gonna lose the first round of the, of the <laughs> tournament to somebody like Yale. By the way, <laughs> they're awful offense. Oh my god, I, you know. But you got. I'm trying to think of who would be. You know, and I know you. You know, when I say Zags, you're gonna be like, yeah, kick rocks. Yeah, uh, I am gonna say kick rocks. <laughs> but they wouldn't need. They wouldn't need a team like the Zags anyway to like the Final Four because of their slotting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think right now you got you got probably as far as number one seeds. You got Kentucky, you got Duke, you got Zags, and uh, who else? Aided is Is it yeah, Arizona? Yeah, Arizona maybe. Or is it I, Villanova? No. Oh, that's a really good question. Who would be the number Who's four? Who's the fourth team? Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll have to wait and see, you know, after the next few weeks so we can uh, kind of gauge it. But don't be surprised. Listen, I know they, they wrecked Kansas. Yep. Kansas is a pain in the neck, dude. Oh, I know. No, I know. Kansas, for some reason, they can't seem to put it together on a consistent uh, basis. But, you know, if they catch fire coming into the tournament, you know what? Kansas is a talented team. And you're very right. That's a very good That's a very good name to call there, Kansas. Uh, it's definitely a good name to call as they do have a little bit of size. My thing is I just don't see any other teams with their type of size. And that's what that's what yeah, makes them big. so much of a monster to me. Yeah, they're big. And, and both teams, the first and second team, are crazy. Right. Exactly. You know, I mean, you see the second team coming, you're like, oh. Yeah. This looks like uh, <laughs> who the hell is it? This is a backup? Damn! Right, you know? that, that's the thing that they get you with, and you know most teams got you know one to two big guys, but they ain't floating with four of them. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. So hey, you know what? We'll we'll see. But the plus two twenty might be the move if if you're feeling that dream. Yeah, because I think I'm, that's I'm gonna, the only on. way. Go, that's the only way I'm you're gonna, gonna get value with Kentucky. So it's yeah, actually I'm gonna go with Cino on it. Today. Yeah, you know what? Guys, I gotta be honest with you. I mean, you know, I don't, I don't think you know Calipari is gonna want to lose before the tournament. I really don't see that happening, um, because you know what? Yeah, and you never know. They, they, they kind of, you know, they, they drop a really bad game or something like that. Maybe lose a, a little bit of seating, you know, a little, little problem with seating or something like that. So maybe what we do is we take Kentucky to go undefeated. So basically to win the national title. So you get that plus two twenty. Now you got the value there. You know what I'm saying? So now if we take, you know, if we slide in the Dukies, if we slide in, uh, by the way, I think um, last I checked, it was 30 to 1 for uh, Kansas. <laughs> so something crazy like that. So right. I might get Kansas. I may get uh, some Northern Iowa at 100 to 1. Uh, you know, just just playing around a little bit, just like I did last year. You know, and I backed yep. I backed up UConn with Florida. I thought Florida was the best team, and uh, but I did back it up, so... We'll see where it goes and uh, go from there, dude. So what you want to do? I got my boy Red Eye Bets that's going to be calling any minute right now. All right. What's he specializing in? Uh, he wants to talk. He's, he's hitting me up with some uh, some college hoop stuff right now, as a okay. matter of fact. He's saying, uh, talking about uh, Kentucky being, or sorry, uh, Dukies being a little too dependent on Okafor. Yeah, but they're supposed to be. That's their star player. <laughs> <laughs> actually, um, the game that they played against, they played a game two games ago. They didn't. They, Okafor had like four points. Oh, with um, uh, with, with um, Florida State. With Florida State, yeah, yeah, exactly. So actually, I don't think they're using them enough. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, do I got my boy Red Eye Bets on the line? Yeah. What's up, boys? How you guys doing today? Oh, we're good, man. Red now that we got. Eye 
Letters, what's up, Playboy? Is it waking? Or sorry about that, guys. Just waking up here in the, you know, it's 6 a.m. over here, 6:30 a.m. So, just got up a little bit ago. Just uh, getting the coffee ready, capping some games. Oh, nice, All man. Right. Nice. Yeah, well, we had a, we had a little little bit of issues with our equipment this morning, but uh, I think we're good, and I think everybody can hear us loud and clear right now because I got everybody on Twitter rock and roll, and I got people sending me lovely photos. Um, so you know how that goes, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we're, we're ready. We're, we're flying high, kid, and getting ready for Las Vegas and uh, looking forward to uh, hearing what you got to say today, man. So you're from the West Coast. Whereabouts? I'm in Vegas right now. Oh, you are. Raised. All right. Uh, you're born and raised in Vegas. So you will be joining us in about five weeks, I would assume, at the MGM Absolutely. Grand? Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. awesome, dude. Awesome. Awesome. And you are a handicapper out there. You, uh, Your stuff is uh, verified on uh, Capper Tech, right? Yes, sir. Absolutely. Uh, we just got uh, verified with uh, Capper Tech, I believe, uh, the beginning of January. But uh, before that, because I'm associated with uh, Inside the Bet, we're... Uh, we had uh, right when we were opening for the first two months we actually gave all of our picks out for free had them uploaded on the site so we were already a hundred percent transparent you know from the get-go everyone was able to just go on the site get our picks for free for the day until we officially you know open shop gotcha cool deal man hey you know what so i i like when people do that you know when they start out and they start giving their stuff and you know, just kind of letting people sample them and feel what they got going on, feel their style and stuff like that. And I, you know, I commend you for that, man. And I hope you're a hundred percent, hundred percent successful, my brother. Appreciate it, guys. No Appreciate problem. It. No problem. So, talk to me about uh, some games you got on a ticket, man. Uh, are you doing? Are you strict? What are you doing? Are you doing college basketball, NBA, NHL? What's your uh, What's your strong point? Well, uh, my main thing is soccer. You know, that's uh, what I really get into. But my strong suits really, I mean, are soccer, the NFL, and MMA. But I really dabble in everything. And uh, I've been killing the NHL this year. Uh, In regards to college basketball, I haven't really been uh, too much into it. Uh, I've been kind of standing back from afar, actually. My buddy, Guffy Money, uh, I know he shoot, uh, shouts you guys out, you know, throws you guys some plays every once in a while. Yep. He's, uh, he's got the system plays, and, I mean, his system is just, it's killer, man. For the longevity, I mean, he, he's been doing work in college basketball. So I, I, I kind of tail him on that. You know, we shoot back and forth what we're doing for the day, and, uh, you know, uh We've been uh, getting together a team and, you know, putting all of our best strong suits together to, you know, make a great whole. Kind of like what you guys are doing with this community, you know. Awesome, man. Awesome. Cool. So what are you looking at for tonight, my brother? You got anything? Uh, you said you're up early. You're uh, you're starting to cap your games and get ready. Listen, I know it's really early, brother. Okay. When we come on here at 9 o'clock, we just basically talk leans. Uh, you know, our stuff, you know, the stuff that we're deciding to play comes out later on. You know, we share that with the audience. But uh, what are you looking at initially? Anything jumping off the page at you today? There's actually one game or one match I'm really looking at, and it's uh, the Minnesota Wild in Vancouver. I, I mean, I've been riding Minnesota on the second half. I mean, the talent on that team. I, I didn't know what was happening at the beginning of the year, but I mean, this second half after the All Star break, man, they've been making me some killer money. And uh, right now, you can actually get them at plus one ten. So uh, they're, you know, they're going in Vancouver. The the trends in Vancouver aren't so impressive, but uh, I believe this is the fourth game in six days for Vancouver. Uh, you know, and, and, and to me, Minnesota, they're going for the second half push. I, I, this is a team for, to me to tail probably the you know rest of the year and then on into the playoffs. All right, cool. Dream, what do you think about this uh, Minnesota team? Minnesota's pesty. Um, they got a pesty little scrappy squad. Um, they're getting some good, some some good scoring out of. I believe it's Parisi. Yeah, yeah. 
Am I pronouncing that right? Because I I butchered the names, and I'm sorry. I'm bad with with the names, um, guys. But I they're getting some good scoring out of uh, out of Parisi. Um, that Vancouver team, they're pesty too, though. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Both of these teams kind of, in a sense, remind me of each other. Of the the Wild, the Canucks, and and you could throw the Flames in there as well. Um, they kind of all remind me of the same team for the most part. Um, very scrappy team. You know. I don't, I don't think it's a bad spot trying to take the wild at the minus, you know, with the plus the 110 because, I mean, you know, it's plus money and it's hockey, it's good. But I'll tell you what a couple of my issues would be. The first issue would be it's a late game, um, and I know that's more of a comfort zone for Vancouver, I think, than the wild playing at 10 o'clock. Uh, not that, yeah. you know, I don't. I don't feed a lot into that, but a little bit is to be made of that. Um, as some teams seem to be a little bit more comfortable playing later at later in the evening than others. Um, the other issue that I would have is that the, uh, you know, the Canucks are pretty good at home. Yeah, yeah, they definitely are at home. But I mean, if you look at uh, you know their recent home games, not that they've been bad, but I believe they've lost what I think two or three out of their last six or seven at home. So I, I, I don't think that they're, you know, uh, I think this is going to be, Vancouver's going to be a team that seems to falter a little bit. I don't think they're going to, you know, take a dump, but okay. I, I, I kind of see them faltering a bit. And I see Minnesota really going up there. I see them being a really good team when uh, it's all said and done. Anytime okay. you get, like you said, Dream, anytime you get plus money, you know, Sometimes it's worth you, it maybe you, to you, give it a shot. Yeah, definitely. give it a shot. You know um, I mean? As not to mention that Minnesota has already beat them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games ago. Minnesota did beat them four to two. Yep, yep. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, I, I think they're going to be confident. I mean, they've just, they've been killing it since the All Star break. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to that match. It's uh, obviously a little bit easier uh, watching these games. Uh, out here on the uh, West Coast, you know, these uh, ten it starts at ten o'clock out there. I can't even imagine the game starting at ten o'clock. You know? Yeah, I know. When we came out, <laughs> dude. <laughs> when we came out to Las Vegas, and you, and you guys are going to be in culture shock when you go out there. Let me tell you because. Dude, at like nine, we, I've said this a hundred times, but at nine o'clock, there's no more sports. It's done. That's it. You're, you're, you're done. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, uh, going that out there. That might not be the case when we're here, though. You, you, no, uh-uh. Else? No, it is, bro, because there, no, there ain't no Hawaii or nothing like that playing at, at midnight. No, but the, the, if, the, if, the, if March Madness is going, the, the late, the last game, the, the last level the, usually goes off at like 10. So the second half, we'll probably be able to put the second half plays in of the late of the late clip of the March Madness game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think they're all done by 12 o'clock, though, brother. What I'm trying to say is that 9 o'clock Vegas time is 12 o'clock here. So 9 o'clock, you're done. Bad, you know no, what no, I mean? No, but- no, no, yeah, no, no, I agree with you. I'm just trying to th- I'm just trying to remember. I'm trying to think about that, but I think you're I think you may be right there. Yeah, and um, you, you're gonna get up at uh nine o'clock to start watching the games in the morning. That's what yeah. pro- <laughs> that's what the, that's what the interesting part is, dude. It's bacon, egg, cheese, uh bloody Marys and uh college basketball, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> well, I mean you guys I, I've been telling you guys how I love soccer and whatnot. I mean, some of these matches out here it starts at four forty five in the morning. Yeah, yeah, so, right. I wow. Mean, you know, I, I, I'm up, uh, I'm up pretty early on the weekend, so you know, my sleep's definitely minimal. Oh, definitely, man. Four forty-five in the morning. So that's when, uh, that's when I'll probably just start getting done partying. So maybe I'll want to go down and uh, put some <laughs> soccer plays in right after I get out of the club. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I got plenty of sleep this weekend, man. So I'm looking forward to uh, not sleeping much when I come out to Las Vegas. That's for sure. So uh, looking at the uh, looking at the hockey card. All right, so that's the one that's jumping off the page at you. Uh, we got a couple of others on the ticket here. Just looking at it, uh, we got the Rangers Islanders tonight. We got the uh, Hurricanes and Senators playing. Uh, we got the Montreal Canadiens and the Red Wings. Uh, Oilers coming into the Jets. Bruins at Flames. 
You got that nasty Coyotes team. Which, dude, how is that? How does that Coyotes team beat everybody all the time? When, <laughs> they've, it, been, they've been losing as of late. I, oh. I've caught them a couple times. They're, they're, they've been losing. They're, they're losing. They're not. Nah, they're, they're all right. <laughs> they're, they're, they're done now. They're back to. They're yeah, back to normal. Yeah, they got. They got back to where they're supposed to be. <laughs> oh, I know. That was that was very frustrating when I was you know minus like three hundred on a money line in a parlay, and all I had to them all I had to do was have their opponent win, and the Coyotes were uh, beating them. It was it was just bad, you know. Plus two forty. You know, in a lot of cases, it, it was the team that they were playing, and I think it, I know in one of those scenarios, it was the Canadians in Montreal right the Habs, now. Yeah, I don't the Habs know are. what's up with them. Matter of fact, that I got you on the line. What's your thoughts on the Canadians? You know, well, actually, because uh, I have a close family friend from Canada, and I, I was never actually too much in the hockey until I was like sixteen or whatnot, and. Uh, he, he got me to be a Canadian fan, so being a bit biased, it's kind of hard to uh, dissect and really say what's going wrong. I don't know. It's just, it, it's one of those weird things. I mean, some nights you're, you're, you're like, oh, you know, they're, they're out of it. You know, they're, they're ready to roll. And then they go right back to the same thing. I, I don't know. It's one of those tricky teams. And a lot of times they're giving up, you know, so much that, uh, it, it, it's kind of hard to take them, but right. you know, it, it, the thing is, as soon as we say this, and we're going to be like, look at, you know, maybe Detroit looks good tonight. They're going to come in to Detroit and beat them four two or something like right, that. Yeah, right, 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 right. Exactly. That's how it always goes, dude. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm officially got my my hat hung up on hockey for a little while here. So you know, I, you, you guys could so go the rest and get of us are safe. Yeah. So the rest of you guys are safe. I won't be mushing any of you guys. <laughs> I'm done with that, man. I'm done with that. So uh, what else you got, uh, man? You got anything? Uh, anything you want to plug or shout? out or anything like that brother you got the you got the floor right now for for the next few minutes man well actually i was gonna uh you know i was telling you guys i deal with soccer and there's the various leagues of soccer uh one in particular that is our domestic league the major league soccer which i took a particular interest in the past couple years and last year throughout the whole year we hit 71 percent and just purely MLS, not soccer overall, but purely MLS. Cool. So, I mean, we just absolutely killed it last year. And uh, I've been sitting here. I've been talking with my boy Duffy. I've been talking with some other members of uh, Inside the Vets. And uh, there's one uh, team I was waiting for a future to come out on them from the moves that they've made this year. I knew they would be undervalued. And, you know, that's a lot, especially at the beginning of the year. I tried to get these you know, better odds that actually have a chance to make it in the end. And uh, there's a, you know, if you guys want to plug this in or, you know, whoever wants to plug it in, it's an MLS future and it's to win the MLS Cup. But it's the Chicago Fire and they're 50 to 1. Whoa. So, I mean, you guys could put two bucks on them and, you know, still come up a unit. So, uh this is, uh, you know, this isn't like a guaranteed winner, but I, I, I could almost guarantee they make it into the playoffs. And from there, you, you really have three matches that are, well, not three matches, but three series you really have to win to win the cup. So uh, I, I think this is a really strong play. And then even when you get to the playoffs, you can hedge it. So uh, it's um, just to give a little thought to. And, you know, like I said, $2 wins 100 bucks. So... You're, you're not going to sit here and put anything crazy on it. I mean, I put, I, I, I've been talking to my boys about it for a minute, so we put a, a, a unit on it. But uh, other than that, I just really wanted to give a shout out to, uh, you know, my boys at Inside the Bets. You could uh, reach us at insidethebets.com. Uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, the cappers on there, my boy Guppy at Guppy Money. Burr at Burr Beats Bookie. We got Halftime Hawk at Halftime Hawk. And then Prop Hitter at ABC is X. Uh, we sell our plays. We give out the free plays as well. And then one major point that I want to give out is, uh, you know, I, I I know we're charging for plays. It's hard-earned money. We I, I never, you know, want to just take someone's money and 
don't care about them. I care about all my clients, all my members. And uh, we have a type of safety net to where it's guaranteed profit for whatever you pick. If you get a day, it's guaranteed profit or that next day is free. Uh, if it, you get a week it, and you, uh, you know, we're negative on a week, it's guaranteed profit that week uh, or, you know, the next week free. So we always work out something with the clients to make sure, you know, everyone gets on hot streaks, everyone gets on cold streaks. And we're just trying to here to make money with everybody. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Well, that's good that you give back, man. That's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, some guys don't do that, and I'm glad that you do that, brother. So it's all good from there, kid. And that Chicago Fire team, you know what? I can tell you right now that 50 to 1 gets me excited. I love those kind of numbers. <laughs> yeah. I, and I'm telling you, when you get to that, uh, when you get to that time, and especially they start making it through, uh, you, you could hedge out of it so many different ways. So uh, it's definitely something to look at. And I appreciate you guys having me come on the show. You know, uh, I love this community. Nothing but positive feedback from everybody. Uh, you know, just, you know, the, the whole thing is people get caught up on here trying to outdo one another, outwit one another. I mean, in the end, it's, coming up a profit if you and your family are making some extra money that's what it's all about that's it man Amen. yeah <laughs> definitely, Amen definitely. To that. <laughs> and also one, one last shout out sorry to keep going on guys but shout out to my girlfriend for actually uh you know giving me the time i i barely get any sleep i wake up start capping all day have the games on all day all night so uh Big shout out to her for letting me do my thing. That's awesome, man. I hope you treated her right on Valentine's Day, player. Oh, oh gave absolutely. her a winning parlay. <laughs> <laughs> go to the take, Barbie. Yeah, hey, yeah. Barbie. <laughs> Here's a ticket, baby. Here you go. <laughs> go cash it. <laughs> oh, cool deal, man. All right, brother, guys, this is Red Eye Bets. Uh, we'll send your name out a few times for uh, people to hit you up. And uh, welcome to the party, man. And, uh, well, you've been a part member of the party already. But, uh, you know, we're, we're happy to get you on the show. And we'll definitely get you back at some point, brother. Absolutely. Uh you know, keep doing your guys' things. Don't listen to that, you know, outside negativity. I mean, it, it's a community here, and we love what you're doing. Uh, it's pretty evident. Sounds great, man. Thank you so Thank much. You, we, appreciate we appreciate all that. the positive vibes, dude. Thank you. All uh, right. Take it easy, boy. Take care. Take care. All right, Dream. So uh, that was my boy Red Eye Bets, kid, out there just uh, rocking and rolling, dude. And, uh, hey. Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll take a look at his little soccer play kid when that Yo, comes. I've been, I, I've been a couple. Um, I was involved in a few soccer matches last week, uh, as as it would be uh, told. I got involved and I hit. Um, uh, let's see. I think I got a little bit of Arsenal and I got you know somebody else. Barcelona was going and I've been getting some stuff. I got a couple of cappers out there who give me some picks. I got MOB out there, Premier Sports, Co Premier Sports Company. Um, they feed me with a little bit of their soccer plays. I got my man, you know, the tennis capper Ben, who gives me his tennis. Um, so yeah, we, you know, we stay in all, all, all types of lanes, brother. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. So uh, do you want to? You got anything on this uh, on this hockey tip that you want to talk about before we jump into the uh, college basketball? Well, uh, to be honest with you, in hockey, the only thing I have is a small lean, and it's and it's and you guys are probably not gonna like it. Um, I I'm not loving it, but I'm feeling it a little bit, and this is just kind of a hard play. I feel like the Colorado Avalanche are gonna beat the Coyotes tonight, and here I go again against the Coyotes, knowing how me and our, my track record with them is. But um, I think that the Avalanche, um, I, this is, you know, it's one of these situations where you got. A, a, a two mediocre teams and you got you you have a situation where the avalanche have a team coming in that they can beat and need to be in their home so they should get it done i haven't been big on the avalanche this season because for the most part they've been a disappointment but i do like them tonight in this spot as this is a game that they can win and they need to win so i think that they will win so i like the colorado avalanche tonight and that's the only game i really like a little bit of love over there at Calgary, but the Bruins are tough, so I'm going to stay away from that. I hate getting involved with the New York game, with the with the Ranger Islander game. So, for ice is concerned, all I like is the abs. 
That's it, huh? That's it. All right, man. Uh, let's shoot over to the uh, NCAA basketball, man, because there's some games on here that might be uh, tickling our oh, fancy yeah. a little bit. Uh, taking a look at this, uh, we've got Miami playing at BC tonight. Miami's a three and a half point favorite under over one twenty four and a half. I, I I can't gauge this Miami team. I I've not bet them all year or against them, and yep. I'm still trying to figure them out, dude. I stayed away from them. I did bet them once this season, and they, and they crushed me. I've stayed away from them. I can't figure them out either. Uh, this game was supposed to be played yesterday. I guess it got postponed because of the snow. Guys, this is a 3 p.m. game uh, in case you're interested at 3 o'clock. Boston College, though, has not been that good. Um, what's your spread again? Three and a half. Miami's given three and a half. Yeah, I, I kind of lean towards Miami, but I don't love this game, and I won't be playing it. But if I if I was going to pick a side, I definitely would lean towards Miami, as Boston College has not been consistently good this season. But neither has Miami, though. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. I don't know, man. I mean, that's a 3 o'clock start. They might be all thrown off because of it. I have not done good in gay, uh, gay day, day games during the week, man. I just have not been doing <laughs> gay dames. <laughs> gay dames. <laughs> I don't do good in gay dames. <laughs> day games during the week, brother. I just I just don't. Um, so you know what? And I, I gotta be new. I got news for you guys. Listen. Daddy been spending a little bit too much time on Twitter these days and, uh, you know, during the day and stuff like that, you know, sneaking tweets in while I'm working and stuff like that. <laughs> Listen, I got to go make some money. I got to go make some money this week, all right? So uh, <laughs> I might be a little bit off. I was off over the weekend, but, you know, tonight, tonight's a big Twitter night for me. I'll be on it, you know, with some of this college hoop going back and forth. But during the day, man, I'm probably going to take a little bit of time just to uh, – Go out and uh, do something productive and make some serious money here. Uh, we got the next one here. We got uh, – so I'm not going to be getting involved in any uh, day games. I can tell you that much. <laughs> uh, we got the uh, Seton Hall at Villanova tonight. Uh, Villanova is minus 15 and a half to 16, Dream. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you got the <laughs> – and, and here's the deal. Villanova's going <laughs> to annihilate them. Uh, you got the uh, <laughs> uh, money line is 1,786 player. Uh, under you over. know, this, this game here, and you guys know I love Villanova, right? I'm a big Villanova guy. This game right here is screaming Villanova's going to kill Seton Hall, right? Yeah. But for some reason, I don't know why. Don't ask me why I like Seton Hall in this spot plus the 16 points. Villanova's definitely winning, no doubt. But I see them winning by 12 10 to 14 10 to 12 to 14 i don't think they're i don't think this is going to go into the blowout zone that it was even though villanova is a little heated with seton hall um but i just don't see the blowout in this game you know i oh it's tough for me to give this game minus the 16 though uh you know what maybe you'll see something on it later i can't tell you to go against the Ville. you know i love them um, and, and Seton Hall, yeah, I noticed Seton Hall lost over the weekend, which is a bad loss, which makes me like them even more because they're going to be a little bit more determined to try to, you know, to try to, to go in here and make some noise. I think 16 is too many points to be given Seton Hall. Yeah, but that's you're not ta you're not plugging the underdog though by any means. I I am I no I actually am plugging the underdog. Wow, that's surprising. I'm actually man. saying that I I do kind of like Seton Hall with 16 points. I think that's too many points. Well, that's what I thought with the Illini yesterday. I got my. I know you did. I know, <laughs> I I know you did. That, 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 that's what also, by the way, is in the back of my mind. It got me a little bit on the edge <laughs> before I mentioned this game. But, um, you know, if we look at Seton Hall here for a second, it's the Seton Hall team. I'll tell you, they make you pull your hair out because I, I thought I had them figured out, but I didn't. All right, they did beat. They already beat Villanova. I mean, in this game, yes, it has a revenge factor, so we got to be cognizant of that. But they did beat Villanova in overtime, 66-61. to um, And let's look at Seton Hall for a minute. Take a look at it, brother. I'm near. I'm near now. Um, um, Seton Hall... Wow, Seton Hall's lost their last four games. Jeez. <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough, 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 tough. But, hey, points to that. Get it up over yeah, 20. Yeah, Seton Hall's real, and I can't give you guys Seton Hall. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I kind of like them, but Seton Hall, 
they after they beat you know after Seton Hall you know beat Villanova they've done nothing since um and they've gotten I mean they've gotten beaten by everybody lost to Providence Georgetown Marquette uh DePaul Butler got them um yeah, no, no, no. I can't give out that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna pull out of that. My boy, uh, my boy, Sean Harnish is all over it though. He's feeling it, and uh, he's yeah, all, he's, okay. He's also plugging the uh, Islanders and Rangers over five today. So that um, might... over five. I don't mind that. If if it's five, though, buy it down to four and a half. If it's five and a half, buy it down to five for the push. Uh, you guys know I'm with hockey. I'm no longer ever taking five and a half. Uh, on any of them, I'm always buying them down to to five. <laughs> big time, big time. Hey guys, don't forget on Fridays, every single Friday, we are opening up the phone lines. This week, Dream, you missed it, man. It was awesome. It was I awesome. Heard. It was awesome, dude. I had everybody in here, man. It was, it was. And you know what was crazy is I'm sitting there and I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm dude, I'm talking for like 35 minutes just by myself, right? Right. And uh, I'm like, oh, you know what? There, there's something wrong with the software. And all of a sudden, Ray's hits me up. She's like, uh, Rob, there's there's people waiting. I'm like, oh, I had to refresh the screen, and boom, I see all these calls. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Everybody's already waiting for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, damn, bro, I made everybody wait. So uh, it was it was awesome, dude. Uh, a lot Good. of people are saying that the uh, the under in the Seton Hall game is um, – a lot of people are betting that. So um, – Take okay, a look I at that. Like that. I'm not big into the to- you guys know I, I don't I'm not big into totals on um on hoop. Um I do I do like the totals a little bit more on hockey. Uh basketball, I don't really get into the totals too much, um, except for, you know, at half plays, but I do like more NBA. I don't really mess with the college totals at all. I'm gonna start a uh I'm gonna start a money line parlay today. All right. And what I'm gonna do is uh I'm going to uh let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Smurf is on there. What's up, player? Saying the uh, SBTV is like Howard Stern. Even the haters be listening. <laughs> That's my boy, man. I love Papa Smurf. Uh, I'm going to get Virginia uh, to you know beat Pittsburgh today. I don't like the points in this matchup, but I, I'm going to tell you right now. When a team comes off a scare like that, look at Kentucky. Kentucky's been scared a little bit at times, and look what they did to South Carolina this weekend. You know what I'm saying? I think Virginia yeah. can get the job done. Uh, I think there might be a lot of money coming in on Pittsburgh just because it's 12 and a half. I don't know. Well, it's 12 and a half, number one. Number two is that Pittsburgh, you know, just laid the smackdown on North Carolina, which, by the no, way. I, I mean, I don't know about taking Virginia um, today. I I'm, I don't like that. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm all over Virginia today. Virginia's okay. going Virginia's gonna to get the job done. Because okay. you know what? It, it, me and, and you know what's you know what's crazy is that the, the evil genius and I had a lot of uh, – usually we disagree on a lot of stuff, but uh, on Saturday we agreed on a lot of different things. And uh, we both agreed that Pittsburgh was going to be a problem with, uh, you know, North Carolina at, in their building. And sure enough, they, they embarrassed North Carolina. Uh, Jay Will gave that out on ESPN like first thing in the morning. So, oh, okay. <laughs> well, I don't watch ESPN because like, I got the biggest show the in the world. <laughs> Pittsburgh's going to be North Carolina. I think everybody in the country do that, but North Carolina stinks, though, dude. Yeah, no, they're not good, that, and that is not one of those teams that's going to make any noise. So, uh, <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, they are not, not making. They're going to make some noise, all right. I'm crying when they're when it's all done. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and, and we even had Yodo call in the other day. And uh, did you know, Virginia get the guy back that was hurt? The kid that's hurt is he back? Uh, I don't know. I got to take a look at it. We'll look at that uh, a little bit deeper, guys, because uh, we're get, get, uh, a, get a look at that injury report because that I I want to say I can't remember his name. I, I forget these guys' name, but he's a big a big proponent to that offense. Um, and without him, Virginia, this I think this is a real bad spot for Virginia right now. All right, man. Well, you know what, <laughs> Daddy got to get involved in this game. I gotta All right. Do it. I got to do it. All right, so. Mr. Um, Illini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Illini in the <laughs> Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Just just call me Mr. Yale from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. The <Mr. Z>, Ohio State. <laughs> oh, man. That was a five-unit play, dude. Oh. I was so dude. You know what, what, it was. It was a five unit play, man. You I didn't put, tell me that. Oh, dude, I didn't know what you were doing with the bride. You know what I'm saying? If, you know, it was like Saturday in the morning. You know, Valentine's Day. Five units. Five units, oh. kid. Yeah, I got I got killed with that. But uh, on the road. Wow. On the All road. Right, let's kid. Keep it moving. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Sorry about that. <laughs> Jeez. Oh man, sorry about that to myself. I mean, uh, just unbelievable. I, dude, everybody and their mother had Sparty too. 
all, the, most of the nation was killing me about that, saying you're crazy. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know. You know what? I just Ohio State's been doing so good for me. I gotta, I gotta get involved with them. So, well, generally you could fade the nation, but only the guests that come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guests. I know, man. You know what? The guests when when they come on, it's just like you know they tear it up, and then when when they come on, it's like you know, it, I, you know what it is is maybe it, maybe because we do the show so early. That there's, yeah, there's there's not a lot of uh, good research done yet. So you know what I do like about the guests, though, the, and I gotta say, most of the time the guests give out a play for that day that stinks and it bombs. But the but the guests do give out information for the future that ends up coming to fruition a lot. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. definitely. So that's why you know I but but I, I have noticed that the and especially. If I go against the guests on the show, <laughs> I know. you could be assured that the dream is going to cash. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You're right. It's crazy. It's crazy. You know what? I know I, I know that. my limitations, okay? And you want to talk yep. about hockey? I will never go against anybody in hockey because, you know what? My hockey is just horrific. <laughs> so, right. you know what? I know my own limitations. I can't wait till Dizzle gets down with baseball, dude. That's what I'm. I'm yeah, really. Yeah, we need him back. We need him. We need him definitely back on the bases. Ah, uh, definitely, definitely. All if right. He has any money by then? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he'll be he'll be he'll be making donations in there, man. He'll be he'll be making uh he'll be adding money to the account, dude. <laughs> Yo, hockey immortals laughing, saying uh had her laughing my. Uh, <laughs> he said uh I don't watch ESPN. I got the biggest show in the world. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. And I love it because somebody had hit me up about Duke because I gave out Duke and um because I I was big on Duke Saturday because I don't you guys I don't know if you Duke is Taylor. Any team playing a two-three zone, the like Duke is like Taylor Bate to destroy the two-three zone because they they got penetrating guards. Their guards are going to collapse the zone in the middle, and then you got their big man at the bottom, so they can either dump it to the big man or put it up, and he's in position for the for the rebound. So I I love Duke against Syracuse on uh, on on Saturday. Not to mention that Syracuse has you know not played well this season on top of it, but right. somebody was going against me on that and told me that that game was no good. And of course, I never got a hey, Dream, you were right. <laughs> well, you know what? No, that that's the beauty of the nation, dude. You know what I mean? And that's the right. beauty of us not being handicappers. You know what I mean? Because I got all the cappers telling me that I'm smoking crack half the time. So, you know what I mean? So, no, nah, it, it, it works out really nice. You know what I right. mean? And uh, I, I'll be the first one to say, hey, you know what? Psh, you know, <laughs> this stunk and I was bad and whatever. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. But, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing uh, their own thing here. And uh, you know what? When I lose, it's a bittersweet because I have, like, all these winning tickets coming thrown at me. You know what I'm saying? And I repost them for everybody. So big shout-out to everybody that uh, cashed with Michigan State the other day. You got really lucky, I got to say, because in that spot, when it's tie game with eight seconds left, you're very rarely going to see a team shoot a three to win the game. So, uh, you know, you were laying two and a half, so that was pretty brutal. So, uh, for me, anyway. But uh, big ups to everybody that cashed on that. So, uh, let's see what else we got on the ticket. Dream, what do you uh, – let's see here. You, you got this Kansas team. And West Virginia is just oh. – I don't know what happened to them, man. They are just sliding, 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 sliding. And they got Kansas coming in tonight, and that's a bad spot for them as well. I know. I know. It, it, I don't know what to make of West Virginia either. They're, yeah, they're just like I, I don't know what happened, but something happened to them. I want to say four games ago, and they haven't been right since. Um, you know, tonight's – this is a funny game. Uh, you know, man, Kansas minus one. I kind of love that. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know? They're on the road, though. I know. They're on the road. Uh, let's see. Amadi Stoudemire, my my band, my man Big Mizzy is saying that uh, Amani Amari Stoudemire is out of New York with a buyout. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Knicks got rid of him. Yeah, this big, that that's no big deal. <laughs> <laughs> not not that he was doing anything anyway. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. Let's see what else here. Uh, big ups to my boy Sean for uh, giving out the under in the Colorado game yesterday, and uh, he's looking at. Butler minus three. Let's take a look at that game here. I like Butler minus three. You I do, like huh? That. Let me see. I'm definitely here. on that. Butler at Creighton tonight. Butler's minus three with an under over 129 to 131. 
I so, like Butler minus three tonight. I think that's a great pick. Uh, I'm, I'm near with you. I'll probably be on that game myself. Uh, it's a 9.15 p.m. start, Eastern Standard Time. And, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a pretty big fan of that game. All right. A lot of people are uh, showing showing everybody love on that and all over that. So, uh, hey, you know what? Maybe that'll be the uh, SBTV train tonight, the money train going crazy, you know? We'll right. see what happens. I, I got to do my own homework on it and see what happens with that. So, Anyway, Dream, you got anything? Uh, you got anything else you want to uh, you want to talk about a little bit before we close out? Because Daddy got to go make some money today, especially yes, after sir. I got uh, I got pounded by my uh, my bill on Valentine's Day with that whole weekend <laughs> thing. Oh, dude, what, what? You know what, man? I want I want to just I want to make a bunch of money and open up a bed and breakfast, man. <laughs> Well, you only do you only do business on Valentine's Day. And yeah, then it'll, be, it'll be a wrap after that. Yeah, good point. Good point. Uh, they they were full of capacity, dude. Oh my god, crazy! Just 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 absolute madness. But uh, that's the that's the beauty of marketing. How 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 mainstream America uh, marketers can take a, a a a day like Valentine's Day and turn it into a multi billion dollar. Industry, <laughs> hundred dollar roses, thirty dollar chocolates. Yeah, I know, I know the whole. Family. A racket. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the same guys who didn't sell those roses are out there today selling them for five dollars. <laughs> oh, no doubt, for a whole dozen, kid. Pick up your pride extra uh, extra dozen today. Run over with a five dollar dozen. Be like, no, I, I love you so much. I decided to get you another dozen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, dude. Oh, that's man. funny. Anyway, uh, yeah, guys, I'm on Butler tonight. I like Butler a lot. I'm thinking about Kansas. I'll get back to you on that. Uh, I'm staying away from the Seton Hall Villanova, as I kind of like Seton Hall, but I love Villanova. So I'm gonna. I, I would just rather stay away than be involved in that. Um, as far as Pitt Virginia is concerned, I have no opinion. Hey, coming up on Thursday, I got my boy the kid coming on, and we're gonna talk about this line movement thing again. Is that debate is always, 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 always up for discussion with gamblers all over the world it's always uh what's the line mean public versus sharp uh the whole all the lingo we will get into that on thursday and he has some pertinent information to enlighten us with uh, also has a couple of websites and he and i were going over a couple of uh strategies and ideas last night that you guys may find particularly interesting oh cool man cool cool and then friday we open up the phone lines as you know and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, what else, man? Are you, why don't we uh, Why don't we do your clothes out, and I'll do mine, and we'll get out of here and go uh, go make some money on our our jobs today. <laughs> All right, guys. I got my boy um, Ben Diaz is telling me that Barthol should win today. As far as the tennis is concerned, it's going off in approximately uh, five or six minutes. If you guys want to get on that, take a look. Um, as far as I think we got. Quig Wang is going as well. Uh, I'm getting that from my man uh, Ben, the the the, uh, the tennis the tennis pro capper. Hit up Ben or D- Ben Diaz and Ben. Tweet, tweet, put it on Twitter so that the nation can see it. In case I'm ripping it up, or I got the names wrong, I got the times wrong. I'm sorry. I just saw it there, and uh, I'm getting ready to do my close out. I'd like to thank everybody for all their support today. Hoping you guys had a great weekend. Uh, I should be on and off Twitter a little bit today. Kicking with you guys back and forth, probably not as much as usual. And as Hatter says, we are probably going to pull back a little bit because we have been going 100 miles an hour over the last few weeks uh, on Twitter and with the plays and with the gambling in general. And it may be time to get back in our lanes as we have a lot of stuff you know, going on on the home front, real life, that needs to be attended to yeah. and also in preparation for the Vegas show. That being said, big ups to Ben Diaz, the kid, Ben, Philly Picks, Dank, the MOB, Rainmaker 512, Smokey Rodriguez, Winning Picks, Premier Sports Company, MMA Rainmaker, Joey Buckets, The Champ, Rick Lopez, The Queen of Odds, Papa Smurf, The First Lady of the Fake Fam, Betting Dream, Nonstop Sports Picks, Deeks Picks, My Man Rousey, Tony Enab, Damian Dazenberry, Hockey Immortal, Scott Weaver, OJFB, VK, LVCC, Lex, J- James, Shane Rodenius, Yippa82, Nicholas J, my man Derek, Mr. Craig, uh, Papa Bear is out there as well. We got Crush the Bookie out there. We got all of our big supporters, Tim Dog, Yato, um, uh, Clown Man Swag, uh, and so many more. Guys, I am the Dream. Thank you once again for your support. Always remember who you're with and make the most of each and every day because you cannot get this time back.
I just want to say, guys, that I appreciate all you guys being patient with us with the uh, little technical difficulties that we have sometimes. Hey, listen, you know what? We do a live show, and sometimes it could be uh, on our end. Sometimes it could be on on Spreaker's end. You know, it could be on the website's end, whatever. You know what? At the end of the day, you guys stick with us, and we appreciate it. And you know what? One of these days, man, one of these days, someone will come up to us and be like, hey, here's a studio, I hope. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And uh, hopefully we won't have to ever worry about that again. But right now, I'm doing it with a little rinky-dink little computer here in my office. And, uh, hey, we're doing the best we can to uh, do the best we can with everything that we're dealt with. And uh, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade out of it. That's all I got to say about that. (laughs) Uh, Big ups. (laughs) Big ups to uh, everybody that's retweeting the show today, man. We appreciate you guys. Uh, We got underdogs. We got real picks. We got OJFB, we got Lady Plays, we got Marlon, Sean Harness. Thank you for all your stuff you've been giving out, brother. Almighty Kev, I got Dr. J, Razor Ramon, J. Rich the Mayor. I got Armin, ben, Armin I'm sorry, Armin De Niro, Jason Riley, uh, Sean Lynch, Slick Rick, Andy Mack, uh, Emzer, Papa Bear, Marmar, Clown Man Swag, Josh Hood, The Cheese, LVCC, Matty Fresh, Sir Mata, the list goes on and on. Guys, we love you to death. All 178 countries have seen the biggest show in the world. We are free. We do this nonstop, and we're just having an absolute ball. Go out. Go easy. But get that money. Take care. Peace.